Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader as well as a medium here and I'm here to give some type of messages from beyond. Hopefully this does help and resonate for whomever this is meant for. Let's get into it here. So if you do like the paranormal, do check out my book. It's my journey, my story after story. I'm actually uh, thinking about it. I started it, had uh writing block or whatever you call that and then i stopped writing um typing like a mad woman here uh but i want to get back into it again i'm feeling drawn to do so so uh, a lot of activity has been happening lately uh in my home so let's get here This is a female energy that passed away. I feel that the husband did everything that he could to help her with, with her illness here, but he knew the 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 ending of uh, 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 her passing. Um, that was, I literally heard, and um, uh, never ending battle, okay, but knew the outcome of it all. It was just a matter of time and it was quite a battle. I feel this is cancer. I literally heard cancer here. I feel like she struggled. She really struggled. She didn't want to go, I feel, but, uh, but yeah, it's kind of like, um, I'm not, bring, I'm not going to say that. No, they just showed me a story time. I was like, that's way too morbid. Uh, but it's kind of like somebody trying to stay afloat. Okay. Uh, and and they can't do it anymore, okay? Meaning that she gave it her all. They keep showing me my mom. I know it's not my mom. I know her voice, you know, I know her voice definitely. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like my mom went through like um, chemo and I think she was like the first, uh, I remember she was actually proud uh, of the fact that uh, the University of Penn, this is back in 1983, she was the first um, uh, person who received the chemo. Um, yeah, and I, I never forget that. But yeah, it was different. You know, this is when this first uh, started, you know, coming out kind of thing. But with that being said, I just feel like she really went through the battle. But uh, it was kind of like, I'm just going to take my final breath. And, and I know that I'm going to be at peace. I know that I'm done. You know, this was her thought process when she did pass. Okay. Uh, she, the struggle was definitely real. I feel the husband didn't know exactly what to do for her anymore. Okay. Just know that she made it to the other side. She's no longer in pain. They're showing me my husband one night we had, and it's in the book. One night my husband, um, um, we had a seance and he came through. I don't usually do seances, but it was literally two weeks after he passed and I was grieving and I wanted to hear his voice again, which I did hear. That's all in the book. And that's an interesting story. Let me tell you that night. Uh, but yeah, and he had a, uh, he had a limp, limp. Okay. Uh, when he walked. All right. I can't tell you that because of uh, medical reasons why he had this, but he used to tell people all the time that he got into a um, um, an accident in playing football. He never played football perfect. You know, um, even in high school, he wasn't allowed uh, because of this medical reason. Right. So, <laughs> but he always used to tell people that he messed up his knee because of this. So, uh, anyway, going back to the seance, he, <laughs> he, sorry time. Uh, yeah, but he, he would, uh, in the seance, my friend, uh, could see, okay. She was, she had the gift too, right? Um, I was just learning more and more about the spiritual world. So I couldn't see him. I did hear him talk, which is in the book, but he, <laughs> and she didn't understand the message and he kept showing her him, um, you know, bending his knee and making it straight, bending his knee. He couldn't bend his knee. Uh, when he had, he had like bone on bone, you know, no, no, uh, tissue in the knee, you know, it was one of those deals. And, uh, and she's showing me that, or she's telling me this, she goes, I don't understand a word he's saying, but he's showing me this knee thing that he's doing. I was like, oh, he can walk. <laughs> I can walk without a limp, you know? Uh, and he's so excited about it. But, uh, the point to that is, is that there's no, um, you know, pain. 
everything's back to normalcy with her. It, it, it's like a relief here. And she's break. I literally heard she's breaking the silence. She wants to uh, jump for joy. She wants to, uh, ex you know, exclaim here all the happiness that she's no longer in pain. She does reflect on all the pain that she was in, and she she even questions herself. You know, on the other side, it's like, how did I do that? I literally heard through the grace of God. Okay, so now she's chiming in with her own answer here. But also, I feel like she wants to shout out to her love, her husband here. I'm sorry I, I put you through so much, okay? I do feel that you're going to hear her voice. Now, it's not going to be a whisper. It's going to be in your mind, okay? Now, it sounds cray-cray, but I do feel that there's going to be some kind of message that's pretty wild uh to be able to receive it like that definitely i literally heard her say don't dwell on the past look towards the future i feel it's very lonely you know but you're going to regroup here you could turn to this for the husband you could turn to kind of finances work money uh job okay to kind of uh, as a distraction to turn away from all the confusion I feel the husband wants to kind of get away, you know, uh, has a, a little bit of a panic attack every once in a while because he misses his love. She was uh, his queen, you know, literally the queen of the castle. I heard. Clarify that. Wow. You were the neighbors. OK, <laughs> I literally heard that, that everybody, all the neighbors were jealous of. You had this true love. I had this story time. I had it's supposed to resonate. I had this one neighbor, right? Back in the day, not it's not the same neighbor around here. It was a different house, but uh, but yeah. And, and I saw a psychic. This is before I started my own journey with that. Uh, plus, but readers are it's tough to read for yourself when you're a reader, right? But anyway, so. <laughs> They, uh, she said, uh, there's somebody jealous of you, like a neighbor, a friend. And I'm like, who, nobody's jealous of me. You know, she's jealous because you have the kids, you have the nice house, you know, you have the life, you know, you have the love, you know, and she didn't, you know, she didn't have all those achievements, you know, she wanted kids. She couldn't have kids, you know, uh, but yeah, and, and I, it didn't click. Until I actually saw, back in those days, we did uh, scrapbooking. Remember scrapbooking? Uh, and we had like these little groups and get-togethers. And she said something. I remember this woman uh, at the time who was my friend. She said something that kind of struck me weird. And it came, that, that saying from that psychic came back. And I'm like, she's the one who's jealous. And I'm like, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. This is what I'm feeling. You guys were the cat's meows. <laughs> okay. You had it all. Okay. You had the family. You had the kids. You had the life, you know. Uh, you know. And you were social bugs, you know. And everything has changed. But he, she doesn't want you to stop living that life of that social life of that happiness feeling. Because she's still around. She visits you quite often from the home i feel that she is a home not home bound but she does visit quite a bit more than other spirits do okay definitely i i feel like she's the type of spirit that will be present in your home and kind of jumping up and down saying remember me do you see me <laughs> that's what it feels like to me I, it's not done i'm trying to show you that i'm here but you will hear her voice in your mind i feel <laughs> I feel that you will be, I love the messages again sometimes. I feel like you're going to, this for the husband, that you're going to pick up on dating again, okay? You may not be overly thrilled or anything, and you might take some time, obviously. Uh, but I feel like when there's a bad egg, I just heard her say, that's what I was laughing at. Uh, she's going to tell you. I feel like that's part of that, you know, in the mind message here. So she's going to tell you. Okay, that this person isn't right for you. Give this uh, new love some time. I do feel that this new person, I don't feel that she's uh, presenting this new person to you. I feel that's more 
uh, you know, God willing, okay, kind of energy here, but I do feel that there's somebody that is going to be stepping into the picture. Now, they definitely, this is for the husband again, uh, but I feel that they could be definitely younger than you, but I feel like uh, you're always going to be protective, meaning that, you know, this person's nice, I'm attracted, you know, it's nice to talk to somebody, do activities with, Sorry, I had to breathe. Uh, but my true love here is my wife, okay, who will always be my true love. She knows this, okay? She knows this, Ace of Swords, okay? But she doesn't want to see you suffer here. She wants you to move forward here. Uh, but your heart will always be the same in regards to you are my true love. Nobody can replace you. I'm just the messenger. But I'm supposed to let you know, watch your spending. <laughs> okay. It's like shopping therapy, basically. Uh, I Oh, you could be wanting a, a boat here. Uh, I tell I tell you boat. Boy, there's lots of story times here. I'm sorry. Um, my friend, my friend out in Arizona, he went and he bought a boat. I can't say names because I don't want to get him in trouble. But, uh, but yeah, he went and he bought a boat and he never told his wife. <laughs> The, he put it in a storage unit, you know, kind of or storage place, right? Uh, like a marina or what have you. Uh, but yeah, and uh, never told her uh, until years later, you know. Uh, but yeah, uh, don't don't sneak this big purchase. She knows when you're spending money, so just be careful with that. Okay, find happiness with other activities. Okay, I literally heard that. <laughs> other than buying big boats or big purchases here. You know, you know, definitely enjoy your life again for the husband here. She wants you to, uh, you know, but just watch your spending. It's going to take time for you to heal, definitely, okay? But I do feel that she wants to reach out. I do feel that you will accomplish this, but she wants to reach out every time that you cry. It's hard for her. I can feel the emotions. I'm going to cry. She wants you to stay strong here. I do feel that she talks to you more so at night, for sure. I feel like when you're looking up at the ceiling or just talking to her out of the blue because you're frustrated, talk to her, okay? Spirits love when we communicate to them, to acknowledge them, okay? Definitely. So, please do that. All right. And that is what I have. Lots of messages, lots of story times with that one. Uh, but sorry for the story times. <laughs> but they usually do resonate. There's always a, a point. You know, one time I had a, a, a reading. I do offer private readings. Um, more so on my um, uh, other, my channel, Deb Does Readings. You know, what, whatever channel you're watching this on. But she got mad at me because I had to do many story times. And I'm like... But that's how they show me, you know, every spirit, every uh, reader is different of how you receive your messages. They show me songs. They show me story times. I, I like doing story times, but that's that's why they I always have a story time because it generally resonates with the read here of what you need to know. So but that is what I have. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it as always. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Smash that like button. Definitely helps out my channel and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.